you guys welcome to my channel or welcome back um, if you are new here my name is Sage this channel is dedicated to tracking my Ethereum and kind of documenting my Ethereum growth and my collection as a whole so welcome to anybody who's not new here thank you for clicking on another video of mine I'm super excited for this video today yeah let's go ahead and get into it Look at me, doing an actual YouTuber introduction, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so today's video um, is gonna kind of be a second or like follow-up part to the last video that I posted, which was a greenhouse tour. Um, I only went over the bigger plants in my collection. I want to say that's probably like half of what I have in here, if not less. If not less, um, just because I have a lot of more juvenile anthurium and a lot of babies. So today's video is actually gonna be me showing you guys all of my younger anthurium and all of my baby anthurium that are in my prop boxes. So I'm really excited to uh, show you guys what I have growing because I do have a lot of cool stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun video today. I do wanna just give like a huge thanks to everybody who commented on my last video. Uh, everybody was so kind and yeah, thanks for all of the love towards peaches. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so last time I showed you guys all of these guys. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys all of these, and then I'm going to be digging into my seedlings and my babies. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to work from this way and go over. Um, I did realize that when i recorded the last video i did skip over this big one right here um this is my anthurium clarinervium it was actually one of the first anthurium that i bought and um i would definitely say for anybody who's trying to get into anthurium this is definitely one of like the best starter ones that's out there um on top of crystalliniums and magnificums um which you will hear a lot from people who are suggesting like good beginner anthuriums, those three are probably the top that you're gonna see. So yeah, this is my anthurium clarinervium. If you look here, I actually have a inflow that I did try to pollinate yesterday um, because it was going through the female phase. Um, so I just rubbed some pollen on it from this guy over here, which is a red crystal pap. Yeah, I'm really hoping, oh wait, wait, no wasn't the red crystal pap it was actually this one my carla x pap i am really hoping that it takes i know that clarinerviums can take up to a year to give seed so it's probably going to be a while until i know if it did take but um fingers crossed okay so now that i showed you guys that one let's go ahead and move on to my more juvenile anthurium it's crazy how fast these guys are growing. Um, hopefully in the next two or three months I'll do another update and be able to compare so you guys can see the growth rate because it's pretty impressive. Peach has decided to join us. Alright, great. So the first one that I'm going to be starting out with today is going to be this Ace of Spades green form. I honestly don't remember where I got this one from. It was probably off of Facebook somewhere from another collector. Really, really gorgeous one. I absolutely love how velvety is and as well as like that cute little pink sinus on it. Here's a look at one of the older leaves. This plant has rooted so unbelievably well. I want to say I took a cutting from it maybe two months ago or so and these are the roots that it's grown back in that small amount of time which has been absolutely amazing so yeah this one's a really happy and healthy one and it's definitely a stunning one too all right so the next one i'm going to show you guys is this pap x best cutting as you can see it's a little bit damaged and that's because it actually doesn't have any roots right now um, I took the cutting maybe a month ago, and um, the top cut, I didn't check on it, and I wasn't keeping a close eye on it, and it actually ended up getting really bad root rot. 
and lost all of its roots so i took it out um put it in stratum and it's only been in here for maybe like a week or so so i haven't seen any new growth um but hopefully soon it'll pop out some roots um, I'm not really sure if it will or not, just because so much of the stem had rotted um, that it was kind of left with a little bit of a nub. But um, yeah, I'll definitely keep an eye on this one. Alright, the next one that I have to show you guys is this Anthurium Blue Pop crossed with a Fort Sherman. Um, it might be the other way around. This one is originally from Cartel de Juan, but I got it as a trade from another plant collector. Um, who's absolutely amazing. They're Aeroid Fairy on Instagram. Literally one of the kindest people that I've met through this community. It's just such a great experience trading with her and um, just such a kind person overall. So um, thank you Aeroid Fairy for this beautiful plant. It's just been a stunner. I did recently take a cutting from this one and um, potted it into stratum. As you can see, there is a root on there that came with the cutting, so it's nothing new, but I'm really hoping to see some good root growth out of this. Um, this is actually my first time experimenting with stratum and using it in my own plants, so I'm really hoping that I have good results from it. Just because I am like a little bit nervous, but not too nervous, just because I've seen good results from it before from other people's plants. Um, and I do have a plant that was sent to me potted in stratum that we'll look at later on in this video that has been doing really well in stratum, which is actually kind of the reason that I bought it and wanted to try it out on my own plants. So yeah, I'm really excited to be using a new medium and just kind of experimenting with it. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how I like it and um, if I think it's worth buying again. <laughs> cool. So moving on to the next plant. Alright, so the next one that I'm showing you guys right here, this is a Anthurium um, Ace of Spades Dark Form crossed with a Dark Phoenix. I got this Anthurium from Hoya Hole on Instagram. Absolutely love their plants. Um, definitely one of my favorite people to buy from. I have a few other ones in here that you guys are going to be seeing later on. But yeah, I've been really in love with this one and it actually has a new leaf on the way which is super exciting. And then the roots on this one are absolutely insane. Ignore the dead leaf that's attached to it. But this one's definitely in need of a good repot just because, yeah, look at those roots. They're crazy. Yeah, definitely excited to see how big this new leaf gets. All right, cool. So moving on to the next one. So this one's also in need of a repot, and yes, it really is that dark in real life. This is definitely one of the darkest seedlings that I own. This is a Anthurium Ace of Spades crossed with a Bivep or um, Antilaki. Hopefully I'm saying that right, I'm not really sure, but um, I know it did get renamed recently. Oh, do you want in? <laughs> She's like, let me back in. I put, I kicked her out because she was getting all up in the camera and knocked it over, but I feel bad now. <laughs> okay, I let her back in the room, so um, apologies if you guys hear a lot of cat noises in the background. Um, I felt bad because she kept meowing because I blocked her out, but um, so back to it. This is my Anthurium Ace of Spades, Cross of the Black Velvet Eastern Panama or Antilaki. I want to show you guys this new leaf on here because it's so, so gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this one. It definitely is in need of a repot as well just because it's super root bound. It has roots coming out of the bottom. And um, I've basically just layered it with sphagnum moss. That way, once this leaf is done hardening off, I can cut it and repot it but yeah just appreciate how dark this plant is it's crazy all right so moving on to the next one so this guy right here is a long um long bullet path crossed with a nse port um it's actually giving me really good growth finally after maybe like three months of trying to rehab it um, because it had died down to a literal stump. But it's coming back now, which is really great. It actually has a 
the beginnings of a new leaf as you can maybe you can kind of see the new leaf peeking out and it's really nice because it, it's rooted up really well now yeah i'm definitely excited to see more mature traits starting to come out on this one hopefully with that next leaf it'll size up decently but yeah i'll keep you guys updated on this one definitely cool so moving on to the next one i have a, another one that i'm actually experimenting with in stratum this is my anthurium blue papillomaminum this is originally from cartel duan but i got it secondhand from somebody who got it from them as a seedling um or i think it was just a seed actually um i forgot who i got it from but they were so kind it's absolutely gorgeous this was the last leaf that it gave me it has a new one on the way which is really exciting and it's actually really really loving the stratum um all of these roots down here are pretty new they have been like expanding pretty quickly which has been absolutely lovely to see that's why i'm pretty excited to see the other ones start growing because this one is absolutely taking off yeah so i'll definitely give you guys a update on how the stratum is going so here's another good look at that so this right here is actually another Pap X Best. This is the bottom cutting that I had taken and that's the top cut over there. As you can see, it has a growth point that is popping out a new leaf. So I'm really excited about that. Cool, so moving on from this guy. All right, so this is actually the one that I was talking about that had been shipped to me in Stratum that I was kind of like, what the heck do I do with this? Um, I don't know what this medium is, and it, it got me into trying to use Stratum and wanting to experiment with it because this actually, because these have been doing really well in the medium that it was sent to me in, and so I was like, well, if it's working for these plants, I want to try it on my plants. <laughs> So this is my Anthurium Red Crystallanium. This is actually the second one that I bought. Um, my first one I showed you guys in the larger Anthurium tour. I was going through a bit of a Red Crystallanium addiction phase and um, I think I still am, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, so it's doing really well. As you can see, it's got those really pretty emergent leaves coming in. Yeah, and the roots on these are pretty crazy looking right now. You can see them kind of like growing off of the stem. I bought this as a cutting, which is actually pretty crazy. I think maybe like three months ago or so, um, this was just like a stump. So it's pretty cool seeing how fast this has grown. All right, so moving on to the next one. So this guy right here is a long bullet pap. Um, it's really pretty. It's got this new leaf coming on. Um, I absolutely love the emergence of these guys. They're super nice, so I'll definitely include it in a growth update. Yeah, I cut this one, I want to say, one to two months ago, and it's finally giving me new growth. Um, and the roots on these have gone absolutely crazy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so the next one I'm going to show you guys, this is actually one of my absolute favorite plants. I got it from... Tan Asian with plants on Instagram. It's a Anthurium Amy Donovan crossed with a Anthurium um, Antilaki or Black Velvet Eastern Panama. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Yes. The emergence on these are really, really pretty and um, it's definitely in need of a repot. Um, it is giving me a new leaf right here, as you can see. Look at how pretty that is. As they expand, they're so colorful. I'll definitely include this in a growth update. All right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the last one on this shelf. All right, so this one is another one of my favorites right now. Um, this is a Anthurium papillomaminum that I got as another trade from the lovely Aeroid Fairy. It's giving me a new leaf, finally, which I'm super excited for. It's super, like, chocolate, like, brown colored. And um, I know that it's a little bit damaged from shipping, but this leaf is so pretty. Look at that. Yeah, I'm super excited for this new leaf. 
So I'll definitely put this in the next update as well. Okay, great. So we're completely done with that row. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one over here. Um, really quickly, I'll show you guys what I have growing in here. So this is actually a blister variegated Carla export um, bottom cutting that I took maybe two days ago or three days ago or around there. Not super impressive, but it's just growing in there. All right, so moving on to this shelf over here. So this shelf is predominantly um, cuttings in the back and my smaller plants. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this side. So starting with this guy, um, this is the top cutting to that Carla export that I just showed you guys. I cut it and potted it up in stratum, so I'm really hoping that it does well in here. The cutting had some good roots, so I think that it should be, and the growth point that it had going looks like it still is doing something. So yeah, really hopeful, fingers crossed that it does well. Definitely a really cool one that I have. And here's the leaf before that, really pretty. Cool, and then moving on, I have, I actually don't remember what this is. I think it's a Tim Anderson crossed with a Warraquianum. It's definitely pretty, but all of the leaves that it's given me have been pretty juvenile, so I haven't really been able to see like anything super impressive out of it. So hopefully this next leaf that it gives me is gonna be a little bit more mature. And then both of these back here are the same hybrid um these were actually some of the first seedlings that we ever kind of like invested money into they're both anthurium magnificum crossed with warquianum and then moving on back here this is actually anthurium carla x pap bottom cutting um it's a cut from this mother plant up here and it's actually double headed so these two leaves are from separate growth points. And then moving on to the next tray. So this one right here is actually from Cartel Duan. I really, really like this new leaf that it gave me. It's super cute and round and also really dark. Um, it's a Anthurium King of Spades crossed with a Luxurians. I just recently cut it and potted it up in stratum so hopefully i'll be seeing new roots soon all right and then the next one i'm going to show you is actually a bottom cutting to a anthurium pap a plus um it's not super great looking right now just because this is an old leaf that was with the cutting um and then i think it's actually got a new leaf coming out which is really exciting these guys are super pretty all right, and then moving on next to it, one of my favorites. This is a Anthurium Dark Ace of Spades from Tezula. And um, it's finally starting to give me some good roots. I've had issues with root rot on it. You can kind of see those roots right there, kind of rotted. But um, it's been giving me some good ones. I've just had to be really careful about not overwatering it as of recent. All right, and then moving on to the next one. Um, this is actually a really cool one that I got from a trade with, um, I think it's Vinny on Instagram. Yeah, I'm super excited for this new leaf. It's a Anthurium Fort Sherman crossed with a red stem pap, I'm pretty sure. And this is the new leaf on it. I can get that to focus yeah I'll definitely include this one in a growth update yeah and I can see some good roots coming in on that good roots coming in there too and then behind that I've got this guy right here so this is a anthurium noid stormy really excited about that new leaf coming in and then behind that one, this is a, I think it's a suspected Forgetii X Pap. 
This one's actually my boyfriend's that I'm taking care of for him. And then behind that, I've got a Ethereum Tall X Stripey Mag. Um, this one gave out that leaf in the center there and then hasn't done anything for probably like a month now um, because it's a cutting that has been rooting for a while. Um, all of these roots are pretty new, so I'm super excited to see those. But I'm definitely excited to start seeing some new growth out of this one um, because I really want like a big one of these in my collection. They're super pretty when they get big. All right, and then moving on. This one's kind of the same story. I cut it um, while it was putting out that leaf right there um, and it hasn't really done anything since. Um, it's just been working on its roots, which seem to be going along pretty well. And then next, I have a cutting of my Anthurium Fort Sherman cross, or wait, Fort Sherman Ralph Lauren cross the Fort Sherman Ralph Lauren. And then, oh, I didn't show you guys these. So this is a Anthurium, either Ace of Spades crossed with the best or Ace of Spades crossed with a forgetty eye, but I'm like 95% sure it's Ace X best. Next to that, this guy that is going a little bit root crazy is a Anthurium Dark Phoenix from Cartel Dewan with a new leaf on there, which is super exciting. Yeah, I definitely need to do something with all of this. I just don't want to mess with it while it has a new leaf coming out. And then behind that is a Alakasia Jacqueline. And back here, this guy is a cutting from my big Anthurium Bessier with a new leaf on it. And then this guy is actually one of my favorites. This is my variegated Melanochrysalum. Here's the newest leaf on that. Not much variegation on the new leaf, but it has some great variegation on this one. Yeah, I really, really like this one. And then all the way in the back, I have this Anthurium Ace X Bess. Um, which I had a really healthy plant at some point, and I don't know what I did to it, maybe too much fertilizer, but it lost all of its leaves and died to a stump, and, um, this was the newest growth point from it, so you can see the stump right next to that, but here's what it is now. It's really pretty, um, I just really can't wait for it to give me bigger unhealthy growth, and then... Back there, I have another tall X stripey mag cutting, which let's see if it has any roots on it. Oh, it's got some roots on it. And then next to that, I have this Anthurium HU King of Spades crossed with the Anthurium Red Spider from Cartel Dewan. And then the last one on here is just another cutting of a Anthurium Pap A+. All right, cool. So we are all done with that shelf. Um, I'm going to go ahead and very quickly go over what I have in this prop box. I'm going to skip over kind of like the really small cuttings um, just because I don't feel like going over those right now. All right, so some things that I want to look at. Um, I've got this Anthurium Ace of Purple cutting that I actually just traded for one of my huge wishlist plants so i'll definitely make a video on that showing you guys um one of the other ones i have right here is a anthurium king of spades cutting that i took from my mother plant um i'm really excited it's got a little tiny growth point coming out um and then this guy right here isn't so happy because i did take a cutting from him recently and um sold that cutting but this is a anthurium cunha x pap crossed with a black velvet eastern panama um aka dark prism which i got from first floor foliage i love their plants so much this hybrid um in particular so i'm really happy that it's giving me a new leaf now um i've been waiting for a little while for a new growth point from this one but um yeah definitely a really pretty one i'll definitely include the new leaf in that growth update so yeah that's all i wanted to show you guys from this box i'm gonna go ahead and move on to um one of my favorite prop boxes everything has been doing so well in here and i'm super excited to 
include everything in like a few month growth updates um just to see where how fast all of these little babies are growing so i'm gonna start off with this side so this right here is a anthurium carla blackie um six crossed with a carla five that i got from tan asian with plants on instagram I'm really excited for this one, and it's got a new leaf coming on, so can't wait to see how big it gets. Behind that one, I've got this Anthurium Juan Carla, which is actually one of my favorites in my collection. Um, I traded a cutting of it for my variegated blister Carla export, and um, this was the bottom cut that I grew out from just a stump. So it's been doing really well. I'm glad that it's coming back because it did get root rot and lose, like, probably like 75 percent of the roots and just was a stump for a little bit was super stressed over trying to bring it back and i managed to bring it back to life so i'm super happy that this one's still in my collection all right moving on to the next one um this is another one of my favorites in my collection this is a ethereum red crystal crossed with a antilaki or black velvet eastern panama that new leaf it's giving me is so pretty. This one's just so dark and velvety. It's on like another level of like velvet. All right, and then on to the next one. This is another one of my favorites. This is a Carlo Blackie crossed with a dressed Lirii um, that I got from Tan Asian of Plants. They really have some of the best plants. These are so pretty. And then the next one I'll show you is this guy. This is a Anthurium Carla crossed with a port that I got from Hoya Hole. That new leaf is really pretty. Got a lot of water on it. And then the next one I'll show you. This is a, another Carla crossed with a dress literary eye. Um, but this is actually from Hoya Hole. Moving on to the next one, um, I actually have two of these. So this is a Anthurium Bessier crossed with a Fort Sherman crossed with a Ralph Liam. This is one of them. It's putting out a new leaf. I just divided them and repotted them into um, this stratum right here. So hopefully they adjust well to it. So here's one of them and then here's the other one. Here's the new leaf on the other one. These ones have both been super fast growing. All right, and then next to that, this one right here is a Dark Phoenix Export that I got from Hoya Hole. This right here is my boyfriend's Anthurian Black Beauty. I think it's actually a Black Beauty F2. This one's really pretty. Next to that is actually a bottom cutting. Oh, there's the name tag. So it's a, yeah, Tim Anderson crossed with a Anthurium Queen. Um, it's just a bottom cutting from this guy that I showed you guys earlier. All right, and then the next one right here, this is a, it's a chocolate crystal cross with a pap which actually has a new leaf on it. And then the next one, this is a Anthurium King of Spades, HU from Cartel Duan. This one's actually my boyfriend's. All right, and then I saved the best for last. This is my Anthurium Black Velvet Eastern Panama or Antilaki. Yeah, I had this one on my wish list for so long, and I finally got it, and it's been growing really, really well for me. Yeah, so you guys will definitely be seeing this one a lot soon, because it's getting pretty big now. Cool, so that's everything for this tray. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys my seedlings and after that we're all done all right so i don't have too much on here um one of the first ones i'll show you is this guy this is a anthurium bigfoot 
crossed with a blue pop from Cartel Dawn. Um, it's potted up in stratum. I don't really see any new roots yet, but it's probably going to be a week or two until I can really start seeing them. Next to that, I have this Anthurium um, Dress Lyrii, which is still super tiny and cute. Yeah, I'm super excited for this one, though. The next one I have to show you is this one right here. This is a Anthurium Carlo Blackier crossed with a Anthurium Flat Bessier. This one I'm really, really excited about. I think it's going to be such a beautiful one when it gets older. Moving on to these guys that I have in a little jar. These right here are Anthurium Dark Phoenix crossed with a Port from Hoya Hole. And then I also have this Anthurium Ralph Lauren and Fort Sherman crossed with a flat vest as well. Cool. And then right here, I've got this variegated Anthurium. Let me see, actually. This variegated Anthurium Doc Block crossed with a black velvet Eastern Panama. And then next to that, I actually have two things in here. Um, these are both Fort Sherman crossed with Ralph Liam crossed with Fort or crossed with Fort Sherman Ralph Liam. All right, and then this little guy is just a Ethereum Michelle X McShell cutting. All right, cool. So that is everything that I'm gonna show you guys today. Um, I'll go ahead and film a little outro. Awesome. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, have a great rest of your day. If you like this video, let me know um, if you have anything specific that you guys want to see in the future. Um, also, please let me know. I'm always looking for more video ideas. But yeah, uh, thank you. Bye. <laughs>